Welcome back to Mishpacha's Take 2, where the people you make friends with in the pages of the magazine sit down with us here and we get to follow up with them in real time. In the case of today's guest, our dear friend of Shalom Adcha he's never been far from the minds and hearts of our readers who've traveled this journey with him, davening with him for so many years. And over the last few years, who among us hasn't been inspired by hearing some of his thoughts in Amuna and Chizak and Chasidus and Yiddishkeit? Somehow, he's been everywhere. Shalom Archa, thank you for coming in. Nice to be here. Nice to be here. Tell us a little bit about what you've been doing. You're so, I'm so prolific. We're hearing over so much Shaira from so many different parts. What have you been doing to keep busy lately? Okay, to keep busy is easy. Baruch Hashem, uh, I'm, David Shah gave me a, a schos since the miraculous and this uh, uh, release David Shah gave me out of prison and, uh, and the spontaneous uh, uh, simcha, they all didn't enjoy to see David uh, show how the outfielders uh, are heard and answered in a wondrous way. So, uh, I'm, so people invite me and I'm using it uh, to encourage you to continue the Munda and Betachem David Shah, it's Gimel, Munda and Betachem Vizigula. And you're doing that now actively. And, and the amazing thing about uh, talking about Tachan Gula is that you can talk to a crowd that has a mix of youngest kids, middle age, and all those guys. Did a circus. I was uh, in the shul here in Dachan Lakewood, and uh, you a, you moved to Lakewood. Yeah. You moved to the Lakewood area. You like moved from Muncie to to Jackson. To Jackson. It's a little further out, there, but but uh, so um, a good friend of ours, Abish uh, brother, I get tired. He, uh, he asked me to come to that Avu Bonim. So they so they came. Uh, so I spoke for them. So I came and spoke to them. So it was amazing. You saw it sitting in a shul. You had maybe it's 100, 120 people there. But you had children, and um, and adults. I spoke to them for minutes an hour about the uh, idea of Muna Betachon and and Teiru Mitzvahs. Muna Betachon expressed the Teiru Mitzvahs. So. Uh, and everyone's quiet. Everyone's listening. Do you find uh, that people don't really understand what that means, Amun Abitachan, like they don't connect with it? Or Fakir, they do, they just don't know what it is they're feeling? No. Oh, I find that Be'emes, everybody wants to hear about Amun Abitachan because I, it's a little bit deceptive because on one side, we all have Amun by nature. We have a Neshama. We are Bonim of a Ram Avinu, the first Maimon. So we naturally have a Muna. We naturally have a Tachan. So we say, oh, we have it. But I guess in order to get it, to use it in our daily lives and to, to exercise it, then we have to learn and, and to bring it out in, in a revealed way. And I try to help him with that. To I've get seen, um, forgive me for being so, so blunt, yeah. you were in Montreal. Yeah. So different Meisters wanted you. And there were yeah. Meisters who weren't sure. They had to ask and they had to check. Are you kosher enough? <laughs> you're Venus Shvi. You're Lomavitcher. And who knows? And three minutes after you started to talking, suddenly... It was pinned up quiet, and everybody was pulling in closer. And you, they said 20 minutes. I think 45 minutes later, they told me he shouldn't stop. He shouldn't stop. Is that something you experience a lot that you're able to connect? What is it? Such a gracious speaker. Is that what it is? No, it's no, your no. smile? It's, it's your smile is for sure. <laughs> okay. But what else? There's other speakers. And I've never seen this with anybody else. This ability to just. Again, it's, it's something which everybody's interested in. And the reason they say 20 minutes is so they, they can't imagine somebody to speak about it more than 20 minutes. So they're trying to be nice. But they really want to hear more. So when you, when you start. And it's Dvaram Hitzim and Alev. It's not I'm talking just theory. I bring a story. I, I try to bring it out how this actually is something we can, we can bring Mitoch uh, Tanefer, Simcha Sachayim, and, and, and how we're, they wish to help. I was able to do that in the most trying circumstance. So people come over to you a lot of times, how did you do it? And, and the answer is, what's the answer? The answer is that, 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 you, that, again, the foundation that we have it and that we learn about it. And, and, and learn the Mokadus and Taylor and they talk about it, then, then we can look You're at saying it. Amun is not just something, it's something that you have to really learn, you have to go back to the sources and you have to chaza yeah. them over. Yeah. Even though we have it. You said earlier, if you're in any club of Ramavinu, you have it. You have it in, in a, what's called in a general over, overarching way, but that's not a way that's going to really affect the way you can make a decision. In order for you to make a decision, to become instinctive. It's and, yeah, yeah. So then you have to. And I, I knew you over the years, yeah. even when you yeah, were there. Yeah. We got to know each other, okay. and I saw you keep on striking. Forgive me for saying yes. that in this nakuda, that nothing meant anything. At a certain point, you were going into a into a zone, so to speak, mm-hmm. that you felt Rabban Shalom was governing everything around you. What did that feel? Was it a safer? So, okay. Well, simply, you, you took out a, took out Shara um, uh, uh, on what what is betochen? It's like a shachonar on betochen. Had you ever learned Shara betochen before prison? No. I, I was told to learn it. The Bavar Shabbat always asked us to learn it. I, will, I learned in Tanya. I learned about Amunas of the Kursa a lot. Uh, but uh, how to bring it down in the level of Betochen. So I, I, it's a hard safer. How do you learn it? No, it's not. It's not, it's so hard. not, it's not hard at all. 
You have to want to learn it. <laughs> you have to want to get past the alchemist. You know, there's everybody you say, Shara Vatoch is the alchemist. I remember that you told me once when you were in prison that when I leave here, it's yeah. going to be with that safe yeah. under my arm. And that's exactly what happened. What do you remember what happened? Tell right? me. The, uh, I got the safe I first got. So I learned it. So it was a little used out. And then I had it in my locker. It was a blue one? A maybe? little blue safe. It yeah. says your name yeah. in the yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 From fellow. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, I had it in my locker. And uh, the day I was, the, the day that, for whatever reason, I took it out of my locker, put it in my talus bag. And the pale, when I was when I was told to get out of the cell, I was only I just didn't know what was happening, so I just grabbed my talus bag. I wanted to have that next to me. Had I not taken it out of my locker, it would have stayed in the locker. I grabbed my talus bag, so the Abish the attack. Yeah, but today was not safer, and it was like, no protest. I took it out of my locker, I don't know why. I put it in my talus bag, and I walked out with it. That's my family. I'm walking out with the safer meaning. The safer, if you learn the safer, a lot of things you say it sounds it sounds it sounds revealed. How do you know? So you learn Shabbat and you find out. But again, the speeches are very 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 nukudadik. When you, it's me the connecting me there. When a uh, betachem uh, means doing what Abish to wants. One of the things, and because you're doing what Abish to wants, you can expect Abish to do what you want. Let's say if you want to address it's Peter Gimel at Agdom Adalda. This says clearly. So you see. The Abish expects us to have a betachon. On the hardest times, I thought to myself, many a lot of time challenges. I mean, of course, it was challenges. And, and people have challenges. And you, you still have challenges even after living prison. Of course, yeah. Bernshalom is not just you put in a quarter and press uh, yeah. and you get a snack out of a machine. It doesn't right. go like of that. Of course, every single day, so every single day you wake up in the morning, you wake up to a physical world. The world is, is, is a world that hides the Abish that you have to reveal it. So when you learn, instead of just knowing, I remember something, I heard of a two minute clip on a on the app, on the phone. He said something inspiring, but you can't get that inspiration anymore because you're not watching it right now. But if you learn something, you think about it, you realize that you can go back. Okay, wait one second, forgive me. But aren't you also, a lot of your tires going out in those two-minute clips also. That means... I don't have too many two-minute clips. No, but you know what I mean. That means we're living in that world. A lot of your popularity comes from telegenic, photogenic, what we're doing. There's not a lot of room for Amkus because people don't have the head and everybody's jumpy. But that's why I encourage them. You're Do right. you say shiurim be'im? Ah, yes, yes, there's a shiurim. I have shiurim, Dr. Avantar, any time. I have shiurim, I have more shiurim, but not able to record. I'm, I'm really doing everything most, most you of the time. You say shiurim liquid also every weekend. Baruch Hashem. Very, very. We had a kabur in Munsi. We had a shiurim every week there. I would try to encourage people to take just, just the first few days. I met with two, two three children. And I always betzach. I say, I'm always pleased with them. We speak for an hour, and you feel a little bit energized. You see the person went through a hard time, and, he, and you, you heard how he got out of it. But you don't leave with that. Take the safer, open it up, learn it. Then you can methodically think through how... People to talk to you a lot. I saw when I took you to speeches that people with their child suddenly stop you in the hallways, and they needed to tell you what they're going through. I have to say, this is amazing. But the things that give me inspiration. Yeah, I walked into a shul this, this Friday night. I was in Bar Park. I go to my mother. And I'm not, my father... And it's not there, so I go to give my mother a kibbutzim. So I go there for Shabbos. It's not easy, and uh, it's not happening in the Kapishnitz Shul on the same block. Kapishnitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go back to Kapishnitz. I'm Loyal, loyal, loyal. Loyal, you did so much for us. So his the the the, the from today, his grandfather was, did a, did my father a big favor also. He managed helped him get meat when they were trying to block him off in the 1950s. So as a korzatev, I go to Kapishnitz Shul. And they help uh, the so uh, I, I'm davening and I go, uh, a sweet young man got up to daven uh, Friday night and after davening walks over to me tells me I gotta tell you something you give me a lot of chizik I look at him I don't know him where do I know him from so he know, he, he's Dafka from Lakewood I meet him at Kapishnitz and he tells me that uh, his father passed away a few days before mine and uh, it's nissen chizik this same kufa he, 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 same kufa and he was and he was very tzibrochen and then uh, there was a psakel I don't remember the names it asked me to say a shir a shar betochen and so I gave a shir I think was, if I remember correctly it was chalam beit pesach I think it was mamish and uh, I gave a shir over telephone over zoom whatever well, I think it was over telephone and I um, gave a shir for the kelyan Light, maybe a hundred on the phone maybe a zoom and uh, he how he was on there and and just hearing the words. Of 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 Taylor, about betochen and the moon, and that, and and the, the idea, and hearing a person who's going through the same thing he has with a when the betochen gave him strength, so he found it important to come and tell me, I would never know. So this is the word. When we show who we really are, we're bnei Avram, Yisrael, we have a moon and the Mebishn. Together, the moon that Ramban says is the betochen, the Mebishn will help you. You soon learn the pasha. I love to say this word. 
Then the parasha about Yitzchak and Rivka. Right. Right? Yitzchak and Rivka, Yitzchak Davin, Lechach Ishtai. Why? Kiakorahi. The Tere says, why did he Davin? Kiakorahi. What do you know what Kiakorahi means? She can't have children, so what's Davin still? And it has to know that he didn't get into it. It could be a difficult to a doctor. And the doctor told her that, that you can't have children. That meant no difference. You're, you're the, the biggest guy in the world. Yeah. I have a question for you. I want, I want to ask you two questions, but f- forgive me again for being... Uh, you don't have to answer if you don't like the question. Okay. You're Lubavitcher Chassid. A proud Lubavitcher Chassid. Uh, you, were, you were born a Lubavitcher Chassid, and you're still a Lubavitcher Chassid. And somehow you became sort of an ambassador, both ways. That means, I think that a lot of people, until your story, didn't realize what Lubavitch Hasidus is. Because, Sai Michael, when you went into prison, you weren't a Rosh Hashiva, you weren't a Rav, you weren't a Mashpia, you were a ZC, the butcher who smoked uh, from Iowa. And you went in, and people saw a certain kind of a fire for Yiddishkeit, for Nagel Vaza, for Kapel, for Tzitzis, that... And a lot of us, me included, said, well, I don't know if I would be this strong. There's a Tehrim, you don't need to wear a yarmulke. It's not even a Shochnaruch. The same, all the things that we live with. And you said, no. So I think people understood a little bit what Hasidus means, what Lechat Chila means, what it means to have that Zach. And Fakat, I think you got to see a, a lot of the Shainkite of the rest of Klai Yisrael who were there for you. Uh, not only Pinchas Alevi, the you did, who spearheaded, but everybody from, from all kinds of communities. Who, who I remember the event in Montreal, it was a, a, a full of Hasidim, and you know. So, you, everybody, isn't it a little sad to you that there's, there's like, so we're not together more, we don't so, do more stuff together? For sure, but because first we see the power of Achdus. We all one, we all have one Abish there, one Taira. Every Hasidus or every minhag that people have, whether chassidim, not chassidim, we all, we all, we all, have, we have, all have the Hashem. Each one has to follow the way of his father. My father brought me, I grew up in Borough Park, so my, my father gets a lot of credit for this. Every single yid is, has to feed his father, his father, his father, his father, his father, his father. Yeah, because you, you, you are living the life of your chassidus or your, or your litvish or whatever it is, Faket, that's a, and you bring out the beauty of your shape, like Ibo 12 Shrotim. You're being a bit of your shavit, and each one... But Lamaise, at the end of the day, a lot of Lubavitch Chassidim never, they don't really know much about who the Rosh Hashiva in uh, Lakewood is, or South Fallsburg is, or, and a lot of us don't know really who are even the Nesim in Chabad. It, it's for whatever reason, it became that way. It was, it was a little mm-hmm. more separate. Is, is, that, is that something that you're aware of? Do you work on it? Or, I, 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 to say, so it's very simple. You know, after you see a tremendous Achdus, uh, that, that Eden got together Daven for me. They knew they, that I was uh, not Daf Daf from their group, fact, but they all felt that they all you are, we, they really are from our group because we're all Eden, right. right? So when we put away all our differences and we help each other, the Abish that puts away the, the old Hagbolas in the world and helps us also. And we saw the tremendousness. All Eden came out spontaneous. So we saw the Kerech of Achdos and Avos Yisrael and anything that gets in between. Do you Should remember be, that night, that Hanukkah night? Do you I, remember the I, thing or you were in... No, no, I remember it very, very... You remember well. the details? I was very surprised, but I, I loved every moment of it. Did you know how many people were, felt like Meshpacha with you? Like, did you realize? I looked, I looked on Friday night in my parents' home. See, yeah. after, this, this was Wednesday night. Right. Friday night, I went to my parents for Shabbos. Right, about that. They say four, over 4,000, maybe 4,100, passed through the house. I say uh, Shabbos. I say Shabbos and give them, say Shalom. And I stood there... Believe me, I want to sit my father and I want to sit with her brain, but I didn't come and I it with a chibre. They came in a, a bracha from, and if, 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 if the Ibish gave a kayak to, to give a bracha at that moment, that's such a mess. So, yeah, I didn't get hold of it. It was amazing. And, and I remember the, the, the police, the guys, the guards were trying to shut the door, and my mother's anger is on my father. She said, he says, we never close shut the door for anybody in the house. The Vasquez never yeah. shut the door. We're not going to start yeah. now. So they, they said, well, 4,000 years went through. So the Achdus is a powerful, um, and, and, and maybe this is the message also, that Fakert, don't focus on what makes us different, focus on what makes us what we are. We, we could be doing it. better. We should be doing We try better. in the magazine. You were an uh, opportunity, like I said. Yeah. You know, a guy told me, until so much Vasquez, the only thing I knew about Alvavitch was that I'm free to sing as well. <laughs> then came Shalom Arach and Shalom I realized the Yiddishkeit. Right. Um, and I go around, I see beautiful Yiddish of other, of other Chogim that I never saw. Sure, also, sure. The, the, the learning, see, the Midas Tavis. The Beruchim. Remember, remember the Maisa? Yeah. You know this thing? Did I tell this to you ever? I once went to visit you in yeah. prison, and you were telling me with the spy list that Beruchim Olshan had come to Lake Rosh Hashiva, and, they, and he asked for a picture, yeah. and he was uncomfortable, and you, this is what you told me. You said, you saw he was uncomfortable, and then he said, sure. 
So you yeah. said, what's the uncomfortable? And you chapped, they, they made him take off his hat when he came in. And Shiva, to be photographed without a hat, he wasn't comfortable. But Avada, he said, yeah. Uh, Le, Le, Yisrael, that he could be nice about with you, he could make a little freilich right. you wanted for the kids, a picture right. with him. He said, yes. So you told me the story with the Hispilus. So I got the picture. So I wanted to put it in the magazine and write the story of the Avis Yisrael of Rabbi I thought right. it was nice. I called the Yerucham and asked for permission. Could we put it, could I write this? But if he didn't want to be photographed with that, he right. certainly doesn't want it in Mishpacha magazine, which goes all over the world into Jewish homes. So he says, why? What's your having me I would let? Because it'll be mechazikid into the for shalom archer. It'll be mask them. Yeah, Taka, you could do it. Yeah. The thing. A month later, you got out. This was Cheshvan. Because slave, you were out already. Wow, wow. Maybe, maybe from, from the Yenemaisa. For sure from the Yenemaisa. Other things too. But, um, so, uh, going back to that. So you got to see the, the, the Havas Yisrael of everybody. Unbelievable. So we have to keep that alive. He's a going. I want to talk a little bit about your father. You mentioned your father. So many people were nifter in this last kufa, in the last eight months. Each one of them was a book. Each one of them was a safer. And it was so many that they didn't always... Your father was nifter before Pesach? Yeah, test nisan. father was a zach from a doyer. You must be full of haidah that he got to see at least. Yes. These years, yes, his yes. simcha at the at the zuzadah. Mechai, mechai, mechai. This is indescribable. Uh, I wanted him to see the 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 total victory because they 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 robbed him and they took away things from him as a, sure. against the law and everything. Um, but he was a muna, was steadfast, was beyond. His father was a chiddush. A chiddush. He was. They went to went to shiva chiddush. But the Muna was without, um, you know, imagine a person working 50 some years or something, and it wasn't easy money for him. Everything was Uzga Horova. Hard worker. Yeah, yeah, he worked. But he was, uh, home, the, yeah? No, I remember coming home and, uh, and uh, walking him to the butcher store. I tried to, I tried the, to visit him. The butcher store was, was never a big money maker because it was a chesed enterprise. It was, it, it made, it made money. People coming in. But he used, it, he used it well. He used it well. He did never... I told him, I see, when I started working by him, he tells me, I'm going to tell you something. I, mean, I thought I'm going to have some good uh, Indian in business, I'm say you say it. He tells me, Shalom Martha, a Friday afternoon, a Friday morning, whatever, comes in a woman and she doesn't have money to pay you for the meat. Just the reason, don't stand in between her, just make sure she has the meat. I was signed the guilt, write it down. It's a sign, it's a sign, it's a sign. In other words, he saw, he, should, he told my guest, you remember what you're dealing with, you're dealing with food. Don't let ever a piece of a dollar to get Hashem to hold back. So somebody gave, I remember the Bnei Yeshiva coming into the, into, the, into, the, into the store. I was standing there, let's say Thursday night, Wednesday night, and it's uh, for, the, for Philadelphia, a Yeshiva that I want to think about right now. But all the Yeshivas that walk in, Shemalechem, my father, big smile, he opened up his big bags and started taking meat and filling it up for them. I say, it was unbelievable, Mama was unbelievable. So he, he um, I got taken away in an in a, in a, in a amazingly... Um, I never understand this. He, uh, he started coughing or whatever, and they took him to the hospital. And we know today what, ha- what the hospitals were all about. I try not to focus on, on, the, on the cause. The, 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 and, and then on Tessnish, they passed away. The amazing thing with him was, if I can say that, if I don't know how much time I have, I want to share with you a quick story. Um, he had told my cousin, Shalom Blachman, he had told him um, that a certain spot that he wanted to be in, in the Chalke, um, uh, I guess his father actually is five stones away from there. He's an old mat, if you're but the rabbis. Yeah, and there's no more space there. It hasn't been the, it ha- because they keep on expanding to different areas where there's place to put people in the Sheikh Shakam Fesh with Chisa Mason. So, you know, you can't invest too much real estate over there because it's, you know, it's not a long term investment for Shaykh Shakam yeah? So, um, he had noticed a spot. There wasn't really space there, but he's up an angle over there. He tells my uh, cousin he wants that spot. So I called him Thursday night. My, none of my brothers want to deal with it. He told me, I should take a deal with it. So I, what I do here, so I called up my, my cousin. I said to ask him, I said, Shalom, what do I do? Shalom, Dukhman. Yeah, he says, he says, he says to me, um, as a matter of fact, your father actually uh, told me where he wants to be. I was on a fact. And uh, where? He told me. I, he described it hasn't been a burial there the last 29, 30 years. It's full. One of these stories from the Alter Heim that suddenly becomes space. So the kids said to make a long. So I was on the telephone. He said, so I said, if you had not have a clear direction from where to where you should be, hostel. The whole night recording, and I wait till the morning till the boss comes in. 
And your father wasn't wasn't buried yet. No, that's you're waiting. Not, that's something that happened tonight. So, so the, I was very big in the. And I want to tell you something. But one of the things that got me out through prison college is, is Bashantov says everything you see in here, you have to know it's from the Abish day. It's a lesson in life. I took a big chizik from the moment of very very big deep pain. The, there was no space there. They, they, they called every single person patiently and you know, tried here, Kadisha, this guy, that guy. But so what made you think the actions are high? Because you, cause you my knew. My father said he wanted this. I, Your I, father I, said he I, wanted that. You're going to keep. I kept on asking, betting is a try, is a try. Anyways, I did, they found Who's said, in charge of the. Of the there's a Hefe Kadisha. And they yeah. said also there's no room? Yeah, they said I'd love to put it, but on top it looks like there's maybe a little space, but there's no space for There's it, no space. But your father had said he that wants he wants to be there. there. Yeah, so he, the kid said, so I remember being at the front of the house, they came, and I was on the phone with Charlotte, and he says, uh, maybe, you should put, maybe we should put him in a different space, and then with at night, they move him over if there is space. I said, come on. I, 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 again, talk about Munda Betochen. From one side, what can I do? Second night, David says, advice in Avek. Half an hour later, I get a call from the Chavah Kedisha. They tell me that Sholem had gotten a hold of the, of the owner of the place. He had punked that day. He's never there. All the the owner of the whole Montefiore? Yeah. And he had agreed. Initially, he said it's impossible. There's no, he, he knows the bottom map, the top map, the bottom map, they're stuck in space. They apparently sent two workers. They opened their members to get to, to, to figure out what's happening. They, they started digging, and they found this space. The space Unused. The middle of became a space. So this space, you can say two ways. The space was waiting for him 29 years. Well, I would say the he made space for everybody a whole life. They made space, space for him. Too. I remember standing over there, the, the, the burial was, was... Why did your father want to be there? Does he have family members there? I don't know. Yeah, the, no, he's ne- next to somebody he knew from Nevon, from the older home. It's close it's five, to the Rebbe? Five stones and it's, it's close to the way he wanted to put him to the Rebbe, but uh, that could be part of it. I, I, I don't know. You don't I, know why he wanted I, to I be there. To, I, I had the but he ended up there, and you, Akshan Zahan, and your siblings were all I'm on board? I watching it, and I told myself, look at this. The, the, the watch in, and this is again the Shabbat Talking. You see this. What is your talking in the, when you see the in the crisis you're going through? I went through a terrible crisis, and I knew people were diving for me, working for me. But it's one of the things you have, it's strengthening your talking. You know that in the crisis, you can see David is with you. He's been good for you before, and in Russia, my family is healthy. Russia, David, he's not helping, davening. The kids are going through school. Uh, um, and Russia, healthy, and without without any for psychiatrists and whatever. The Russia, well. They didn't, I'm exhumed. And I'm, so I took all those things as a proof that Abish can help me out of here too. Watching this, this seeing the God. The, the, seeing that Abish is with you. Well, how come when the bad things you see, uh, good things are good? They are still good things. I this you don't see. That's supposed to strengthen the talking. So um, in this tzad, I see Mitham of Abish that makes it where my father can get what he wanted. He can, we got what he wanted in a time where it was impossible and things shifted. You'll see, you'll see it locked. Uh, he was there, punct. It's not that lock. It's, okay. it's the Abish that watching it and telling you, I'm with you, I'm with you. When you know the Abish is with you, that's the key. When you go through an Assyrian, we realize there's a difference between an Assyrian and an Anish. Most people get nervous because they get, go hard time. They think it's Anish. It's not the Abish. It's the Abish. The Abish te- wants to see how you're going to act. We're going through now a terrible Assyrian with this COVID mindset. It's not, the Abish that wants to Did you. Kilu, has your business been much busier than ever? Because people no, have. I used to fuck it. Because <coughs> of COVID, people I've need been, help? Huh? I'm asking you. You're basically a doctor of Amuna. That's yeah. what you do. You speak Amuna all day and all night to people. Yeah. Has there been a much bigger need of people in crisis in Amuna or fuck it? No, people are in crisis. But very much so. I, like I saw to you, I, I'll, I'll answer any phone if it's a Yachid, if it's a Rabin, if it's a Minion, if it's a thousand people, a hundred people. So always, it doesn't make a difference. And that's not in, that's not even the area, and in, and and the summertime went to a few camps. I spoke. People are going through a very hard time, and and again, where did they find the simcha dafka from the the moon and the it's from the Eibushta? First, it's from the Eibushta, and then the Eibushta wants you to be beteach on him. They'll get you out of the, out of the problem. And when you speak to them clear, as a verter was an emes la mitay, people uh, come. Let's speak uh, truth. I have yeah. a question for you. We know that. Forgive me for saying this. You struggled a lot, like we mentioned earlier in prison. You, you worked on a lot, then you had to. One would think that if in prison it's easy to dive in and, and not have to make Shabbos, Shabbos stick, and to be douche and I'm, it's for sure easier when you get out because you're comfortable and you're free. I think that probably it's a little out. You have to work much harder in a way, you know? Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a, first of all, in a certain way, it's, just, it's, it's amazing. And people will go through and say this, have that. But it's just a person can tell them, came back, 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 came back
Kain Bakaidish, just like in, in Khail, I see you. In Kain. difficult times, in Kaidish, when wow. When I'm surrounded by Kedusha, I should still be able to see you. Forgive me for saying this. You didn't look at a TV screen for seven years. Forgive me, I'm very proud. It's proud oh, to say beautiful, it. okay. Maybe, you know, by, by literature people, we probably uh, more, uh, you know, uh, in the yeshivas. Uh, don't say. Right, you didn't look at a television screen for seven years. In a way, it's probably harder now, even though you think, because hey, people are around, look, here, I think. It, it's you can handle computers. I want to tell you, if, you, if the, the, one of the biggest needs in David's game is the Seichel. I got a lot of soldiers in, in, in the Chavis Lavovus, that a person has to be mad his eyes and his, and his uh, ears to David. But, but uh, again, were you, what's a Munda B'Tachem? Surely, just go to it. They think there's a complicated the conversation. It's not complicated at all. A Munda B'Tachem means seeing the world in the, with Yiddish eyes. <laughs>
And it hit me. Because when I see this guy, I'll have the absolute reaction. Every time I see his face, I'll remember what he said. And I desperately wanted to forget what he said, you know, I did because I was trying to keep in a level of in the, in the, yeah. it was an amazing epiphany to me. Yeah, in right. the David doesn't help me. This David should help me to capture what's going on. Do you on. still have things now that you remember? Things that you heard in prison that had an effect? No, on so, so the word is from then I made a shita. I don't look, I heard a lot of crazy things. I never turned around to find who said it. I kept my eyes to myself. I don't remember one Meshuggah thing they said. I heard a lot of Meshuggah things. It was easy to forget what you hear. It's hard to forget what you see. So I didn't connect my side of my... After you left, there was an interview or a conversation with some of the inmates Mm -hmm. who said nice things about you, Dafka, that you were popular. They liked you over there. They liked you, but I wasn't working on But you weren't trying to do PR and winning friends. Not not the way around. (laughs) Other way around. A a, a guy can recognize... Uh, a yid in its true sense. Did you ever hear that anybody come out since then? Did you hear from them? Did they make Lachish contact? A lot of people came out. A good friend of mine, Mertz uh, Hassamit, came out. I remember you told me two things. One is that when you were there, that you'd sing Zmiras together on Shabbos yeah. with him. And you told me when you left that it sips you still, that yeah. he's still there. Yeah, yeah. So you've been in touch with him since he got out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen him? No, I can't be in touch with him. He, he, I could be in touch with him. I know the system works. He is. He has certain. He still has certain. He got out from the first uh, step act. Have you have you and seen again? The, uh, 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 President Donald Trump signed this first about a year after I got released. The moment to the day they started the Gimbal Tavis, the day after I was released, came the good news that uh, McDonald, whatever his name is, is the Senate Majority Leader. He is going to put it to the floor and before the year. Was, so that the mention of Moshe Margaretin, who's the man Margaret, who my aide, Yaakov Weiss. Yaakov Weiss. He's the one that got me to your daughter, my daughter, the superstar. Rosa, yeah, <laughs> God bless her. So every they, time when you were in, maybe three, four years, I would call different Zach, and every time I'd say, "Hi, it's really Vasa. What's doing? Waiting for Nisim." Yeah. Always, that was her. So, oh, so they're doing a shtadlis, and they're knowing... Waiting for the nest. Wait, waiting for the nest. Waiting for the nest. I got to tell you also, I mean, uh, I, right now they came out, I'm working for Aleph. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you're Aleph, doing. Aleph is an uh, organization that... Ritzvi Boyarski. Ritzvi Boyarski, Rav Lipska. Ritzvi Boyarski has no ego. He doesn't no, like no, when we talk about him in the media. He gets nervous when I say his name. He's unbelievable. Yeah, but he, does, he got, he got out tens and tens of people. He was, he was on the and phone. And how he works on, on ten steps. Like he sees mm-hmm. ahead and he's working on things. Yeah, in the very optimistic way. And uh, so whenever I can, I, I, I try to... I try to uh, I used to give people a chizuk, but he, they were a tremendous help for me in, in many times in helping. So you're them. working for them? Yeah, I'm helping them in, uh, to raise help, or trying to help them raise money also, but mainly uh, when I talk, uh, the, the mechazic people, they need to have a chizuk wherever I can. Do you, are there people now who actively have maybe husbands in prison or family members in prison who call you for chizuk with this? Yeah. yeah are I, you able to visit prisons or no? I might, uh, still not yet, not yet. But, but you would but, go uh, back if you were allowed to? Wouldn't be hard, traumatic, no, no. difficult. I, I don't. I never got. I never got. So that's a good question. I never. I, I don't think like, people ask me like oh, many times. How do you talk about something you want to forget? I said I, I don't know if I was ever really there. <laughs> Luvashkin, <laughs> you're not here. <laughs> Did, remember the story? <laughs> the story yeah, it's, it's an amazing story, right? So I'm trying to work on myself. How do you do that? Luvashkin, you're not here. That's a guy. He was ready to fight with me. You were never there. He was there. angry. Why? Because I asked him for something in front of his guys. It made him look bad. It just a chaz over. Stuff. Right? Yeah, I asked get, him for, you breached the etiquette. You asked him. You were in the middle of writing an email. So you yeah. asked him to get you water because they were going to shut down the computer. Ice. Ice. And there was a, it was a gang leader and it was disrespectful. You dissed I him. Didn't, I didn't know I dissed him. So the, so the I, next day when he was telling you, he goes, I have a basket. You're not even here. And you told me. Okay. I that was the moment. <laughs> I'm not here. How? How are you not here? A person has to know when, if he lives with his neshama, he a moon of Expresses itself in Tehidu Mitzvahs. When you do Tehidu Mitzvahs, you're expressing your neshama. When your neshama is expressed, you're not, you're not in the tzara anymore. Because who are you really? Your neshama. And that raises up all your, your goof, so to speak, all your physical, uh, it, it gets raised up so you don't feel the pain. Of course you're in prison, but you don't feel the pain. I, I, I heard people describe me as being always happy. It's really missing you. You think I was happy being there? No. Definitely not. But the happiness was knowing that Adebish is with me. Because one of the hardest things going through any Nisoyen is the feeling of... of I, can't, I can't even imagine what one hour was like. I was once visiting you yeah, and your you kids were there. And you leaned over to give him a kiss. And the guard, you're sitting over there like a grace of lifeguard chair. Yeah. And he's like, Rubashka, no! Yeah. You couldn't kiss your kid on the yeah. forehead. And, and, and you imagine the pain for me if I'm for the kid. So the, the, the word is, okay, so... So you can focus on the pain, or you can focus that the Ebrister wants me, not these things shouldn't affect me, and we can maintain 
continue being the same year you before, right? When you know you're doing what Abishta wants, right? And you know that the Abishta is going to help you, you're able to could maintain a simcha as a chayim. So what, how do you internalize it? Getting back to the beginning of the conversation, by learning. Not because learning is so important. Learning, the yeah. Are there any from contemporary from that you would recommend? Like, like from Heintiger people, so the comment now? I, I like going straight to the you source. You go straight with the Chavis I, I go straight in. I, I don't know if I don't know if it's Tanya. It's got to be Muna. I know, I know. I can't tell you a story. I can't tell you a story. Maybe you want to uh, use this. Let's do um, it. We've got to wrap it up. Let's see. Let's I, end I, with a story. This is an interesting story because when I go to speak in schools, this is an important story. There's a very lesson in, in Monzi. Baba. And they, I, in the first year, I, I, there's a group of uh, boys came from Monsi, from Lakewood to see me in Monsi, the son. Now I'm, now I'm in Jackson. So uh, afterwards, uh, some, the guy had a connection with uh, Rabbi Slezin. He brought me in. And we're talking. He goes, I had a good Sure. And he gave me time. I always person. felt very humble sitting in front of these great people. And he wants to know what I'm doing. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. And I, uh, then I got a chance to ask him a question. I say to him, um, I find it interesting. I, I go to schools. I, exp- I tell my story, and that's about learning the chavos of us, right? It's a safe for everybody learns. And I expect, and I ask them, "You guys know the chavos of us here too?" Or I asked later, I, I, I asked them, "Nahal or the the principal?" Yeah. And he says, "No, no, we, we, we have a shmuz, or, or very few times I will be going to answer here." Yeah. And and I'm and and and, and I'm wondering why don't they sit down with these bachim and teach them. Uh, uh-huh. right? And I, I, so I asked him the question. So he or talked to him about the So he says to me, uh, it "Was more than this?" But he, he says, uh, "I said I actually what is what I'm doing now." Baruch I'm writing a book, of my whole story. And Baruch I'm also writing. A, I actually wrote up as a whole uh, a curriculum, so to speak, for for kids, of of on the moon and betach and how to teach sure. it and all the mitzvahs a little bit. Uh, in a way that not not the philosophy of Shabbat, sure. not, not but based on Madrash and Matera, and then present it to, to a child that we started off that they, they can understand. So he says to me, a, a, a rabbi can prepare a blood gemara, Rashi tastes and give it over. And he, feels, he feels comfortable. And the moon of is an area he's afraid to get hit with a question. You don't know what the answer. He, he like avoids it. Now, now, wonderful. So what happens to the child? The child then it goes out into the world. And he, he, he I, I spoke just recently to a guy, a yeshiva, went to the yeshiva, went into the workplace, and, and for Patrick, the one, who, the, one who, the one who introduced me to him, he said, I can't even believe he even went there. Right. It wasn't, what happens, you, you go into the world, and you have not been given the ability to understand who the you are, the world The tools and the kalim to understand. Yeah. And, and, and uh, yeah, so, so, so then you suddenly get as a. So you're closing with so a, he, he a, an endorsement. Me, uh, to, you're closing with an endorsement to the people. Reach Shabbat yeah, Tachan. Learn Shabbat Tachan. Go to the sources. Learn, learn, what if somebody wants to reach you? How could they reach you? Uh, I have an email address. What is it? Shalomabashkin.gmail.com. Shalomabashkin.gmail.com. It's easy, yeah? It's It's Gvaldig, <laughs> S-H-O-L-O-M. Uh, we all know, as, we as know as how to spell your name. We know. <laughs> Shalom Bashan at gmail.com. Yes. That's how they can get you. Yes. Afrelich and Chanukah. Afrelich and Talmud. You should be good bench. It's so that's, 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 that's great to see you. I will never not get excited from seeing your smile. Okay, Thank you for coming in. Nice to see you too.